when a sad affected person looks for the definition of SAD in some sources like web or in some books uh, he usually finds um, the definition like this that the social anxiety or the social phobia is the fear that one experiences in uh, some social situations and when this uh, social phobia or fear gets into a big proportion then it becomes an anxiety disorder after reading this uh, definition that person may falsely think that okay uh, I will experience this fear only when I am socializing that is only when I am mixing with people when I am not mixing with people I am completely sa uh, safe from sad dear friend if you think like this then I am extremely sorry to say that you are really wrong sad is like a dragon which will create lots of heads over time and all of those heads will breathe fire and burn your soul the central fear in SAD that is the fear of rejection will create many more fears inside you and destroy your mental peace and balance you are not safe from sad anywhere no matter where you go no matter where you run no matter where you hide sad will always find you and torture you and make your life a living hell now please don't think that I am having a negative view of SAD or my view towards sad is really harsh or I am trying to make you frightened no that is not my purpose my purpose is to make you understand the magnitude of the problem because understanding the power and strength of the enemy is the first step to defeat it let me give you one example if you hit a mouse a small mouse with a stick you'll be able to kill it but what will happen if you use this same stick to hit a lion well you have guessed it right you will not be able to kill it instead the lion will eat you alive so now you know that understanding the magnitude of the problem is the first step to solve that problem and to solve it in the right way you see you cannot treat a severe infection with a mild dose of antibiotic in order to treat that infection you will have to find an equally powerful remedy only then you will be able to treat it my intention is really simple here I am really trying to make you understand the magnitude of this problem that is how bad sad can be it will follow you and it will destroy your peace and mental happiness it is something that you will not want to live with rather the sooner you get rid of sad the better it is that is my point here